Hello viewers. How are you today? I hope you have been practicing scratch independently by now. Today I will be teaching you how to make a simple maze game in scratch. First we will need a backdrop and you can make your own backdrop uh, by using this paint brush and then you know either drawing it freehand or you can use this line tool. You can change the width of the line, the thickness of the line and then you can make your own maze. I would recommend that you first draw it on a paper so that you know where the openings and the uh, and the close ends are and then just copy it uh, and make it on the on this canvas. What I will be doing is that I will upload my own. Uh, you can you know google maze images, uh, labyrinth images and you can find really cool maze images on google. So I will just upload and now we will need an object that we have to uh, move through this maze to reach the end point, the finishing point. So let's upload a sprite for that. Again you can make your own. I will use this golden ball. Too big, reduce size so that it can go through these uh, tunnels and we will also be needing another sprite. A finishing sprite, a finished flag sprite. Again we will reduce its size to 20 and we will put it here and this will be uh, for checking when the ball touches uh, this flag after going through the maze that we have solved the maze. So let's start coding. So the first step when the green flag is clicked. Events when flag clicked and we have to do something forever. Uh, Go to control forever and we need an if block in control. We need an if statement and what we will do is that we will put the button controls in it here. Inside sensing we go to key space pressed right arrow and what should we do? We should move towards the right that is change x by a positive number so let's change x by 4. Now we have to put this logic here logic means the the program needs to know that it should not be able to pass through the black lines so how to go about that so when the right arrow key is pressed we will try to move towards the right change x by 4 but it will then check that is it touching something black so again an if statement so if inside this uh, outer if statement we have this nested this this thing is called a nested if because it's inside an outer if so this is a nested if so we have this nested if and this in this we will check whether it's touching the black color to make it more exact we we cannot just uh, randomly give it a black color by choosing it from here we have we should give the exact color by clicking on this color picker tool and when we take it to the maze it we can actually choose the color and when it touches the black color then it should do the opposite of this action that is move back by four steps so this is change x by minus four and we will do exactly the same thing again duplicate it for the left arrow now minus four opposite of minus 4 is 4 and this is the code ready for our right and left key as you can see it is not going through this thing and now we need the code for our uh, up and down key and for that again control if then make sure that it is exactly outside the if block and sensing key pressed up arrow again and what should be done change y by 4 because we are doing the up movement we duplicate it for the down arrow what is happening is that um, when i press the right arrow key it tries to move it towards the right that is change x by a positive number by 4 
and because it, it encounters the black the color here it does the opposite of that action that it moves back by four but it is happening so fast that it feels that the ball is not moving and it's actually just stuck it at that point okay and now we have to put the code for this uh, flag when flag clicked forever if it senses that it is touching what the golden ball we should play some sound so a successful sound so what should it be um, play sound until done but we do not have any sound here so we have to attach a sound to the flag sprite so this will play a sound when it touches the flag i would like that it also displays a game over um, message for the user so for that i will upload another sprite so we have put this in the middle when should this uh, message be displayed it should be displayed uh, when the ball touches the flag so what should happen here something extra must happen here to tell this game over sprite that show yourself there's a concept called broadcast message and we go to events and we broadcast message here and this is a new message our message is game over so this message will be broadcasted just like a news for everyone and when the game over sprite will receive this message it should show itself in the looks shows itself and let's add something else that when it, the flag is clicked that is when the game begins it should hide itself so this should work uh, okay whenever the game is started it should be at this exact position let's put this here so whenever the green flag is clicked the ball should reach this position like this now let's start the game Yay, so we solved the maze. You can see how simple it was to make this cute maze game. You can add more images for it, more levels to it to make it more interesting. I will be also sharing a link of my own scratch project to give you a better idea of what is going on in this game. Please share my video with your friends and family. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.